Hello, welcome to Joyful Deli and Desserts. I am super excited because I get to enjoy some of my favorite treats like brownies, cupcakes, cake, red velvet cheesecake, you name it, right here at Joyful Deli and Desserts. We're going to whip up something sweet. You don't want to go anywhere. I'm Melissa Award. This is Art and Soul. Let's go. <laughs> We're in the kitchen of Joyful Deli and Desserts, so let's join Joy to whip up something sweet. Hi Joy! Hello! How are you? Nice to meet you, I'm fine, thank you. Good, oh wow, you're already making cakes, I'm excited. But I think first things first, I have to put on... Grab an apron, wash your hands and then uh, grab your hand. Like Fantastic. Alright, so then I go put on a hairnet. Yes, please. Absolutely. So we have a eight inch cake here that we're decorating for a little girl's birthday party. Aww. So it has to be very bright and sparkly and very colorful. So you know children like oh color. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're gonna give me a hand. Yes. Just put it on the Sprinkles. The sprinkles. I think I'm safe with sprinkles. Yes. You should oh. be safe with sprinkles. Right. And then after that, we'll do some of the piping on top. I'll teach you how to do a basic piping. Okay? Nice one. All right. So you want to get the sprinkles just in your hands. Mm -hmm. Hold it close to the cake. Mm -hmm. And just that. That's it? That's it. So What? Just hold it close and then get it. Could have been okay. doing this my whole life. <laughs> See how good I sprinkle. I might touch the cake. Good. So just keep spinning it around as you're putting it on, putting it on. I think I'm getting the hang of this, Joy. So I have to spin it. So basically sprinkle and spin. Yes, sprinkle, sprinkle and spin. Sprinkle and spin. Whatever spin. you leave on the board, you can just add later. Okay. So you can just tuck it into the cake. See, this is a different type of sprinkling. Some basic piping on top, mm -hmm. and then it's almost good to go. So this is for, what's the age of this young girl? Eight. Did she request this or her parents requested this? Uh, she did. Uh, she wanted uh, my my little pony themed Oh. And you said we can do yeah. what with the access? Okay, so whatever's left, just tuck it in. Okay. Like that. So okay. just like you're patting it down. Okay. Uh -huh. Makes sense. To get them all, like basically to stick to the icing. Exactly. So whilst you're doing that, I'm going to get the piping bag ready. Okay. With what we're going to use for the piping on top. Oh no, runaway sprinkles. Yes, they do get everywhere. So you can finish a day of working with sprinkles. You look in every nook and cranny and there's some sprinkles, yeah, sprinkles somewhere. somewhere. It's a bit better than working with uh, Which one? glitter. I was, yeah, I was about to say glitter, actually. Glitter That's gets the everywhere. You'd be walking around and all over your face and your hair. For like a Just, week. Yeah. I think I'm not bad. I think I'm not bad. Okay. Not bad. All right, woohoo! Okay, so we're going to do the little... Um, deco on top. Okay. So when you, when you do a cake, you want to have at least something on top to complete it. Mm -hmm. Now this is a very plain cake. Once you add um, some kind of swells, it looks more um, finished. Right. Okay. So for the swells, you're going to start here. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit off the edge. Go around in a circular motion, and there you go. What's the flavor of the cake inside? Oh, this is a vanilla strawberry and vanilla cake. So it's a triple triple layer cake. Um, the icing is a Swiss meringue buttercream icing. What? Okay, this so is just luxury. This one more time. Okay, I'm gonna hold your hand and help you through it. All right. So in a circular motion, anti-clockwise. Yep. So let's go. Squeeze. Keep the same pressure. Same pressure. Same pressure. Release. <sighs> Ooh, well done. Look at me. Okay, mine's a little smaller. Sorry. So okay. start in the center. Yes. So 
Same pressure, same pressure. Oh. Lift up. Press down. There we oh, go. Oh, look at me. Okay. So as long as you get them all very uniform, so if you were doing this, you try and get all of them exactly the same. Yes. And then that looks like a finished cake. But once you have two people, whenever you have two people, you could always tell that There's, different yeah, hands have, have touched the wow. cake. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think I'll let you do the rest while I get to know Joy. Okay. And Joy and how she fell in love with just with baking. baking, yeah. Talk to me about that. Okay, so I am a natural born foodie. <laughs> I have loved food since I can remember. I am an eat to live kind of person. Not live to eat, wait. Sorry. There is a saying. Yes, I'm a live, live to, to eat, eat person, mm -hmm. not an eat to live person. There so we go. my food always has to be really delicious. It has to be an experience. Mm -hmm. It should look good, it should taste good. So with that in mind, um, I grew up in London. Yeah, I hear the accent. So it's, it's really faint. I've been here for quite a while now. So, But you're Ghanaian? Yes, Ghanaian. So I grew up in London. I used to go to one of my favorite bakeries, which was about an hour away from me. Mm -hmm. Now, I would take two buses. Just to go to the bakery? Just to go to the bakery to get the cake I really wanted. Okay. okay. Um, after about two times of missing the closing time of the, bake, the bakery, I kept on saying to myself, really Joy, what are you doing? Like, you're taking two buses just to go get one slice of cake. Wow. Maybe you should try and see if you can do this. And so I did. I went online, I found the recipe, I attempted it, and it was really good. And so I said, well, I think I'll start practicing baking and doing it from time to time. Um, flash forward about a year after that, I moved to Ghana and I was in search of work. Um, wasn't finding anything, but was still baking in my spare time. Mm -hmm. So I'd bake for friends, I'd bake for family. After about two or three months of giving away loads of free cakes, my friends actually came to me. Wait, and so you did it for free? Mm, I did it for free for the first three months. Wow. So my friends actually um, caused an intervention and said, well, right. <laughs> this, the, these cakes that you're giving us is really nice and it's really thoughtful of you, thank you. But we think that you should be trying to sell these things, they're really good. Mm -hmm. And so they actually gave me the name, which was at the time was Joyful Cupcakes. Um, and then here we are. And then here you are. To, and how long was how long was that span? Oh, it's been about five years. Five years. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk about what you do pertaining to the culture of Ghana, because certain types of sweets and brownies and things. I mean, it, it hasn't been uh, thriving in Ghana for that long. Maybe within the last ten years or so. So, how would you describe what you do as it pertains to the culture? Um, I think with the introduction of donuts, we've actually widened our, our customer base because donuts are so um, so popular in every single country. Mm -hmm. um, Ghana's version of a donut obviously is the bow fruit. Mm -hmm. and us having all of these different flavors of, of donuts has really awakened people's um, sense of experiments, especially when you see them packed up and ready to go. It looks really enticing. and yeah. so. In terms of what has captured the Ghanaian market, I would say that's that's what it is. But I would say in the last um, five to six years, there's definitely been an explosion in the number of cake makers. People's tastes are um, varying now. They're becoming more um, more diverse. People are trying cakes, they're trying brownies, they're trying cheesecakes, and it's, it's a growing trend. Um, obviously, as it's a growing trend, there's more competition, yeah. but um, you definitely see that the market is growing. If I comparing what I did five years, I really it's it's such a wide a wide a wide margin now. Yeah. Wow. And you've definitely been able to well, let me not say fix, I don't want to sound like I'm confining you, but find your place mm -hmm. in the um, Ghanaian market. But it obviously looks like you're also, you know, thinking globally and your palette is a global palette. So, do you know what? I know you have something else for us to do. Yes, we're going to go through the donut process. That's our new and um, I'd say our, probably our best selling item at the moment. We'll go through how to roll donuts and then we'll do some decoration as well. Fantastic. I'm excited. Yes, absolutely. You guys, you don't understand how excited I am about this. Donuts is literally one of my favorite types of treats. So, you don't want to go anywhere. I helped to decorate this little lady's cake. I hope she likes it. Thank you for allowing me to do that. We'll be right back. This is Art and Soul. Don't go anywhere. Art and Soul. Art and Soul. Art and Soul. Art. 
Live music, interviews, poetry, and more with your favorite personalities. Be our guest on Saturdays from 2 to 4 p.m. for the most exciting moments on TV. Join Kojo Akoto Boating for real entertainment right in your living room. Saturday Live on City TV and City 97.3 FM. Cosmopolitan. New experiences. Social media. Blazing conversations. Fashion, life hacks, all of this and more. This is our scape. This is your scape. Join Apioko Ashon Abe and Emma Fachikata on Cityscape right here on City TV every Saturday at 4 p.m. Welcome back. We are here at Joyful Deli and Desserts with the wonderful Joy. And we are about to decorate donuts, right? Yes, we are. Nice. All right. Walk me through it. Okay. So we have two main types of donuts that we do here. Mm -hmm. We do glazed and then we do sugared. Okay. So what's your favorite type of donut? I like them all. I like them all. I, you know, I don't like coconut sprinkles. Mm. I don't because coconut bits are like... Yeah. It's, yeah. They linger in the mouth for a very it's long time. It's just awkward. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel about Nutella? Love it. Okay, so Love we'll it. do two Nutella donuts and then we'll get onto the glaze. Love it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so what you want to do first is grab your sugar and grab your donut. Any donut? Any donut. Are we literally like sticking it in? Yep. Oh, wow. And just coat as much or as little sugar as you like. The stuff you'll get in trouble for as a kid. Yeah, and just pop it back. Wait, wait, I'm coating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. There Sake of go. excess? Yes. And then you do the same thing with the other one that you want, and then we'll make a hole and then fill it with your f your filling of choice, so which is Nutella. So could you use this one? Yes, you okay. can. I'm so excited. Okay. Once you're done with that, I'm going to grab your piping bag. Okay. And your Nutella. And a spoon. Okay. So first things, make a nice hole in the center of your donut. So this is how you get the little hole. Yes. There you go. Just like that? Yeah. And then keep it up straight. Plop it straight onto the... So make it sit. Eh, how do you make a donut sit? Yeah, they, they can be quite stubborn. Okay. Just push it down a little bit. And just give it some support. Okay. Now well, that's a sitting donut. Okay. Now, we're going to turn this outside. Any yeah, particular so size spoon? Eh, no. Doesn't matter. Okay. So you're going to put your hands here. Is the left hand okay? It's fine. Um, and take in a good tablespoon, however much Nutella that you would like. Oh, wow, I think that's a lot. Okay, and just put it into the bag and then squeeze it all the way through into your donut. Okay. I've never piped a donut before. Okay, just keep pulling it straight down to the end. Because Nutella is a very thick, thick medium, so you have to pull quite hard. Yeah. And then push it all the way down oh to the end. Because this is how you do it. Yeah, so you don't want your Nutella to just be on the middle or just at the top. You want it to start and be a nice steady so stream. You have to push the bag in deep inside. Yes, yes. So that you get the Nutella, you get some Nutella in every single bite. Yeah, because I've had that issue with previous don't not yours, of course. <laughs> Where you, you, there's nothing in the end. Yes. Girl, <laughs> that is not a swell. And that way you know exactly what's inside. 
that down there. Wow. Okay. We're going to do the glaze now. Okay. Um, so today we have raspberry. We have a white chocolate and a raspberry that we do. It like we both in the same. On the okay. Same so the white thing. chocolate's on top, and then the raspberry's inside. Oh, fantastic. And then you have the caramel glaze that we do, and that also has white chocolate. So I'm going to show you. So you're going to grab your donut, mm -hmm. dip it deep into it, shake off the excess. Mm -hmm. So this is the glaze. This is the glaze. Shake off the excess, let it get all the way to cover all of the surfaces, and then plop it down. Fantabulous. Okay. So you do that, and then we'll grab the white chocolate and then grate some onto it. Nice. So just push it deep. There we go. That's okay, it. so you only, it's true, you only glaze the, the top part. Yeah. Because uh, the glaze is quite sweet, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you true. don't want too much sweetness on it. And the glaze is very good because it keeps the donut quite fresh as well. True. Okay. I think that's okay. Yep. I think yours is actually looking a bit better than mine. Oh, how? <laughs> Blushing. Okay. So now you want to grate a good chunk of white chocolate on top of each of your glazed donuts. I don't think I've ever grated That's your white, chocolate over there. white chocolate before. And I haven't had white chocolate glaze. Oops. Mm. Yes. As liberally as you like. Wow. Looks like Parmesan. Yep. That's okay. And then the next one. I don't think I've grated white chocolate before. Every day, every single day. And so you, you make our donuts it. fresh every morning. You'd have to um, really love it to do as much as we do, and we, we, we do quite a number of donuts every single day. So this is going to be a caramel flavored glaze. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is take a couple of spoons of this because you don't want to flavor all of it in case you need it for something else. Mm -hmm. so a good number of spoons. Now, caramel can set quite hard, so you want to dig out maybe half a tablespoon of caramel and then mix it very well into your, oh, into your wow. bowl. And you yeah. keep it in the fridge, right? Yes, Deliberately. you keep it in the fridge. It has fresh cream in it when we, when we make it, so, so this we is keep about it in the enough? fridge. Yes, this is a good amount. Okay. These are literally all my favorite flavors. I mean, it's, it's, it's a wonderful place for a sweet tooth person to work. I might be coming here more often. Okay, so I can just scoop yeah, it in and just mix it. In. it. And just press it down as you're mixing so that you get a good even mixture. So this is why the glaze, no, the glaze had to be warm regardless. Yeah. Okay. But it obviously helps with mixing everything. And the warmth of the glaze is so it sets very well. So our glaze actually sets hard so that once you buy it, there's no stickiness on your hands. There's none of that. Got it. And roughly how long does it take to set? Uh, about five to ten minutes. Oh, not bad. Look good. It. Yes. Cool. And then you can just spread it like you're spreading peanut butter onto your donut. So just on top? Yeah. And there'll be no filling no, on, those, no okay, on this one. This one. Okay. So this is for these two, yes. right? So the scoop and spread? Yep, scooping you can spread it with the back of the spoon. Okay. Welcome back. We're still here at Joyful Deli and Desserts and we're here with the lovely Joy. We had fun in the kitchen, right? Yes, we did. Okay, good. You tried your hands at something new. The I hope you enjoyed it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've managed sprinkles before, but your type of sprinkles were different. Mm. I've had, I mean, the little... The ah, little okay. Mm. So there's non-parallels and then there's what we used. Um, those are, I would call those sprinkles. Okay. Um, but those tiny... Um, Thin ones. We have Slim Jimmies and we have non parallel So that's Slim probably what. Jimmies. Yes. Uh, weird name, but yeah. Wow. Okay. So we're actually in your shop. Yes. Your um. You call it what? The sit down. Yes. Please. Yes. I love it. The sit down. And what I love actually uh, is literally. Well, I like the open space and I love the decor. Um. What inspired you to choose this uh, decor? Well, I looked at the name Joyful and I thought, what do I think of when I think of Joyful? And it was just bright colors and. If you look at our logo, everything is very bright. So we looked for something that would blend or mesh well with that logo and also would say happy. So we want customers to walk in and feel joyful. So. Absolutely. And you, obviously you have definitely achieved your goal. Thank you very much. Oh, no, absolutely. And you have your flowers here. And was it hard to get some of your... Um your furniture um, or what you wanted specifically okay so all the furniture is actually made made in ghana by my carpenter wow. um Wait, but so this is made in ghana goods yes 
Um, Fantastic. All the furniture is made in Ghana goods. Um, the fabrics, I'm sure they were probably imported, but we bought them in Ghana. Mm -hmm. The wood on the walls are um, re wow. reused palettes. Mm -hmm. So the palettes that are used for towels, etc. we just reuse those and then paint it over them, and then that's what we use for the wood. Wow. You touched on something important. So you said the wood um, was made by your carpenter, yes. made here in Ghana. So yeah. how important is it that we patronize made in Ghana goods? Um, I think it's really important. Um, the whole idea is to try and put money back into the same system. You can't expect your customers and people to come and be able to patronize you if you don't support the local um, industry as well. So everything that we can get in Ghana, we get in Ghana. Yeah. So we spoke about earlier, early in the show, um, about how when you came back, um, some people weren't really um, encouraging with your choice mm. of career path and everything, but this was birthed out of your love for food, your love for um, pastries, I mean, just everything nice that you like to eat. So what encouragement can you give to, I mean, even your peers or the young girl, the young boy that wants to choose a career birthed out of their passion, but maybe doesn't get the support that they're wanting? Um, I'd say that just stay true to yourself. I know it's very cliche, but stay true to yourself. Um, and do it for the right reasons. Do it because you have a uh, passion for it, but you can't just have passion. You have to put the hard work behind the passion. So you should be prepared to work really, really long days, really, really long nights, mm -hmm. and just put your all into it. And if you do those, and then you keep your quality as your forefront, you will definitely get the results that you're looking for. Fantastic. And did you go to school or any culinary, for culinary? No, 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 no. So I did a basic degree in food science mm -hmm. and then I did follow-up degree in business, mm -hmm. um, international business. Um, but apart from that, everything I've done is pretty much self-taught. It's just really for my own love. So if I go somewhere and I try something new, I want to see how I can incorporate those flavors into, into what I do. So yeah. that's just basically been me. So I'm going to ask you a few food questions because okay. I, want, I want to know about Joy and I want to know about your palate. Okay. So obviously you have a really good palate for sweets, mm -hmm. that I know. But um, so have you heard of the donuts? Like you can have a burger with like the donut bun. Okay, let's see if we can create your own burger donut bun. Okay. What would be your ideal donut bun? And you only have the choice of cheeses, parmesan or cheddar, but you can put anything else. I'd go with a mozzarella, mm -hmm. not a, a cheddar. I, I would want to keep it as light um, in taste as possible. I think the cheddar is very strong, mm -hmm. as is the parmesan, the very strong taste. So I would go with um, something very mild mm -hmm. and then let the donut and the, the meat shine through instead. And then any glazing for the bun? Oh, definitely. You have to have a sugar glaze. You have to have a sugar glaze. It, it, I think it adds something new to the experience. Otherwise, it's just really a donut. Without the glaze, it's just, 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 just a burger. It's just a burger. It's just, just a, a burger. So would you, would you make one? Um, at some point, yes. Um, when we launch our breakfast menu, we'll definitely have a donut breakfast burger as well. Um, currently, we're trying out donut sandwiches, but again, that's still on the sweet side. But when we, when we, when we launch breakfast, there'll definitely be a donut. Cause it wouldn't really be joyful if there wasn't something donut in right. the breakfast was there. Wow. So my question wasn't far off at all. No. no, no wow. No. We did not plan this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So then before we let you go, so let's just talk about your menu and okay. what is available because I'm looking at it and you have quite an array of um, products here to sell. So first of all, your range, mm -hmm. um, just your range um, as far as pricing goes, not individual, and then also um, some of your most popular items. Okay, most popular items, definitely cookies and brownies um, and donuts. Mm -hmm. um, cakes, birthday cakes, really, really popular. So we, we do quite a good number of birthday cakes. Made to order. Made to order only, yes. Um, we, we, just, we believe in freshness, so we don't want to have um, things left over at the end of the day. So all of our donuts, we make sure we sell through. If we don't sell through, either we give to uh, repeat customers or we give to um, local children, just basically to make sure that it goes somewhere good and we don't throw anything away. Oh, wow. um, in terms of our other items, we do cheesecakes, mm -hmm. we do cupcakes, we do wedding cakes, um, and then we do some pies as well, but those are only to order. Okay, so the, wait, the pies are only to order? Pies are only to order. So we have to call in? Yes, please. Okay, fantastic. And then I see that we have some goodies. So what do we have here? Because we're going to oh. try some, right? Yes. So this is the donut that we made earlier. 
Yes. The, the raspberry and white chocolate donut. Mm -hmm. This is our brownie donut, and it's topped with an actual brownie piece. Um, and then our strawberry cheesecake donut, which is actually filled with uh, strawberries, crushed strawberries with cream cheese filling as well. <laughs> this is definitely not the place to come if you're on a diet. This is the definitely place not the place. <laughs> This is the place to be. My mom loves cheesecake. I'm not a cheesecake fan, but this is definitely enticing me right now. But I want you to go ahead. You pick the first one. We're going to try it together. Okay. Uh, my favorite is the brownie. I feel like it's it's um, both sweet and um, the chocolate, the dark chocolate really brings down the sweetness level as well. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we can try the white chocolate and raspberry, which I find is the most balanced donut we ever made. So, art and so. Okay, so we're back and we're about to try the brownie with a, which filling again? It's a brownie custard. Oh gosh, brownie custard, amazing. And this is our glazed white chocolate glazed and raspberry. White chocolate and raspberry. So go ahead. Okay, so we can take a quick bite. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm just eyeing the brownie on mm. top. So you try not to, to eat too much of your own products, but yeah, this is definitely my favorite donut. That's why I'm not gonna work in a bakery. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try this one. Okay. Wow. I'm excited. Mm. This is the one that we actually did in the kitchen. Yes. Mm. Oh my gosh. You have to make sure you get the raspberry in the bite and then it just balances out the sweetness. I want to cry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You are amazing. Thank you. I'm not kidding. Shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Wow. Okay, so I'm taking mine to go. Clearly, enjoy. I want to thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for coming. It was really lovely to have you guys here. Oh, thank you. But before we go, let us know all your social media so we know how to get in contact with you. Okay, so our socials are very simple. It's just joyful, J-O-Y-F-U-L, mm -hmm. cakes, C-A-K-E-S, and then G-H for Ghana. And that's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Fantastic. And is there a number for the actual sit-down? Yes, so the number for East Legon is 055-43-22-576. That's 055-43-22-576. Fantastic. But we also do deliver. So from both East Legon and East Airport, we deliver uh, donuts and cupcakes. Uh, cakes, we usually recommend that people call ahead, book, and then we can arrange with them what, what option is best for them. Fantastic. So you have the delivery, and you said from East Legon and Airport. Yes, from East Legon and East Airport, just from near East Palace Airport. for Market, yes. Wonderful. What joy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So it's been another episode of Art and Soul. I'm going to finish this donut right here. If you want to fulfill your pastry and donut needs, come right here to Joyful Deli and Desserts, and you're going to meet the lovely Joy and everybody else that works right here. Stay tuned for another episode. I'll see you. So, art and soul, art, so, art and soul, art, yeah, so.